Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to talk about career opportunities for engineering diploma holders. I'll be specifically talking about three years diploma course in engineering, right? So this video is presented by me, Priyansu Pandey. Let's get started. Now, first of all, let's talk about the career options that we have after diploma. The first option is your jobs. That is quite obvious one also, right? Which can be further classified in two categories. The government sector as well as private sector. Government sector includes state government, central government and public sector undertakings, right? That is also called PSUs. Now the next option that we have is your higher studies. That can be done through two modes. The first one is your through regular basis and the second one is your through correspondence, right? I'll be talking about these options in detail in the next part of the video. So now let's move to the third option that we have is your apprenticeship. It's a basically a one year training program. Right. So you can also do your apprenticeship after your diploma. Right. Now the last option, but not the least, is your entrepreneurship. Right. So you can be an entrepreneur after doing your diploma. Now let's talk about each and every option in detail. Right. Now the first one is your jobs. So in government sector, that is including PSUs, that is public sector undertakings. Right. The profile given are generally junior engineers, engineering assistant, technical assistant, supervisors, foreman, etc. Right now, the salary range is approximately forty to forty-five thousand a month, and that is after seventh pay commission. Right, so you are going to get the salary around this, which is quite good one, I would say. Right now, the eligibility criteria uh, for the government sector is generally first division with no backlogs, but there might be some variation in it. Okay. So based on the company you are applying, there might be some variation. Okay. Now the age limit, that is your minimum age limit, that should be your 18 years. Okay. In order to go to government sector, right? Now the next option in the jobs we have the private sector. So everything, including a profile and eligibility, are same except salary. Okay. So you, salary is. Approximately going to be ten thousand to thirty thousand a month. So I have already exaggerated the maximum limit of the salary you are going to get in private sector because thirty thousands is not a easy kind of stuff in private sector. Okay, in the beginning. Okay, so uh, you can always compare uh, in terms of salary in private sector and government sector. And this is the one of the region engineering diploma holders prefer government jobs. Over private jobs. Okay, the other reason include that I have already told you the high entry level pay, job security, relaxed lifestyle, less stress, etc. So these are the reasons why diploma holders prefer government government jobs over private jobs. Right now, let's talk about the next option that we have. Okay, and that is your higher studies. So diploma holders are also eligible for lateral entry. To the third semester, okay, means directly second year, right? Engineering courses in various technical universities, institutes, right? And these are like AKTU or UPTU that includes IIT Lucknow, BIT Jhansi, KNIT Sultanpur. So these are the colleges, government colleges under AKTU. Okay, and next we have the Manipal Institute of Technology that is in Karnataka. Triple M U T that is in Gorakhpur, I P University Delhi, Slide Sangru that is in Punjab, K T University Odisha Bhuneswar, Thapar that is in Patiala Punjab, D T U Delhi, N S C C Calcutta, and other state government engineering colleges. So these are the colleges which are providing lateral entry. Okay. Now in the higher studies, we have an another option that is your E M I. So if you are a working professional. and definitely this is for you okay and this qualification can be earned by passing section a and section b project work and laboratory experiment examination of the institute okay the indian ministry of human resource development considers this qualification is equivalent to be or btech okay so ami is equivalent to be or btech so you can do your be and btech through ami So the branches which are being provided are chemical, civil, computer science, electrical, electronic and communication, mechanical, material and metallurgical, mining, production, textile. So these are the branches which are being provided under AMIE. Okay. 
so you can always go and pursue your BTEC from AMIE okay if you are a working professional now the next option that we have is your apprenticeship so the apprenticeship training is the source to develop skill manpower for the industry by using training facilities available in the establishments without putting extra burden on exchequer to support training infrastructures so this definition of entrepreneurship was given by RHRD minister okay students who have passed diploma in engineering can register for apprenticeship training through NETS web portal NATS web portal okay the period of training is one year the stipend is paid during the training period okay so you will be paid some stipend during training period which is not that good but still you can manage so generally the stipend paid is uh, around three to four thousand a month but PSUs pay more it is around twelve thousand a month right uh, for details and uh, for the registration purpose you can visit the website mhrd nats.gov.in slash students okay now the next option that we have is entrepreneurship so it is one one of the best option i would say nowadays because in in this option you are not going to be a job seeker but you are going to be a job provider okay but uh, to pursue your career in this stream or in this alternate career option you need to have some leadership or managerial skills okay and that can be also done through you know starting SSI that is small scale industry and building startups right so you might have heard about startup India campaign that was being run by government of India and that is the you know initiative of government of India so you can go and take the loan there are various schemes loan schemes from which you can take your loan and start your own business okay so these are the options that we have after diploma okay and i hope this video is helpful for you if you have any query please let me know thanks for watching this video have an awesome day thank you